I think it's safe to say that nowadays you can find hand sanitizer anywhere. How's that a style hack? Because you can use it to get rid of stains. Seriously, the high alcohol content is going to help to neutralize the stain, stop it from setting, give you time to run it underwater. So if it's an ink stain, it's a blood stain, it's a coffee stain, you've got hand sanitizer, you are in business. Next up on our list, learn to tie a scarf in a fun and creative way. Because the reality is most guys are doing the exact same thing. They're going for that wraparound look, which yeah, gets the job done, but really, come on. You you can do better. First up, we've got the Parisian knot. As you can see, this one, incredibly simple, easy to learn how to tie. And what I like about this, if you've got a longer scarf, this is going to do a great job using the material and it does a decent job of protecting the neck. Next up, we've got the four in hand and this should not be confused with the four in hand when tying a necktie. It's a very different knot, but when you look at it, overall the style, something unique, something that you're going to have to practice a few times, but once you get it, you've got it and this is just a great looking knot. It's going to have you standing out from the crowd. And if you want something really unique, look at the reverse drape cross. What I love about this one is when you wear it, you're pretty much going to be the only guy wearing it. It does a great job of going around the neck keeping you warm. It works great whether you've got a medium length scarf or a longer scarf. Overall, a great knot that's going to keep you warm and have you looking good. Now, this next tip, super ninja for any guy that wants to look a little bit taller, match your belt with your trousers. Now, let me be clear. You don't have to match exactly. You want to go for a low contrast look with your belt and your trousers. You don't want to go for the high contrast look. So, what am I talking about here? What kind of witchcraft is this? What we're doing here, gents, is that we're playing with proportions. We're basically lengthening your leg line, therefore making making you look taller. Now, a lot of times you do this without even thinking about it. Wear those dark colored jeans and you wear that dark colored belt. Now, if you like to wear lighter colored trousers, tans, khakis, you like to go for a light gray, this is where you're going to want to have some belts in lighter colors because most belts sold are going to be of a dark color and that's not what you're looking for. Now, speaking of belts, really quick, I want to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Anson Belt and Buckle. Now, gents, I've been singing the praises of Anson Belt and Buckle for almost a decade. Seriously, check out this video right here. My third video I put on YouTube in 2011. I'm here talking about Anson Belt and Buckle. They didn't pay me any money for this. I simply loved their product. And here, nine years later, I still love and use their product. Why? Well, I break it down into three simple reasons. So, first up, let's talk about interchangeability. You guys know I've talked about the interchangeable wardrobe, the idea to own less clothing and to get more miles from it because everything works with everything else. Well, guess what? We've got three straps here, three buckles. They're going to work all with each other. You have nine different belt combinations. What I love about this, like I talked about, going with the light colored straps, going with the dark colored straps. You can simply take one buckle when you're traveling and you can simply change it up and you take less items, less weight and I love things like that. Or simply a strap doesn't work anymore. It gets bent out of shape. You've used it for over a year. You decide, hey, I want to upgrade. I want to change it out but I love this buckle. The buckle is still functional. Just go and buy another strap. That's what I love about interchangeable pieces is you don't have to waste. You simply have different outfit options and you own less clothing. Next up, let's talk about their micro adjust technology. Based Basically, these belts are holeless. This is a great advantage. Why? Because you don't have to worry about adjusting just to an inch. Right here, you can adjust to a quarter of an inch so you're going to get a more comfortable fit. In addition, this better distributes the weight and overall, you get a belt that's just going to fit you better. And third, let's talk about options. If you could imagine a strap material, a strap color, most likely they've got it. Oh, and hot off the press, they've got this new Invincibelt collection that is made with a TPU coated webbing. Basically, these belts are really tough so they're going to be water proof. They're going to be scratch resistant. They're going to be wear resistant. They're not going to transfer any type of color. If you're looking for a belt that's going to be able to last you, one that you can really run through the ringer, this is the belt you've been waiting for. That being said, if you're looking for the best deal, I recommend the box set. This is a great gift because the cool thing is you get to adjust these belts. You cut them to fit your size. And gents, everything you buy from Anson Belt and Buckle comes beautifully packaged. Remember, free shipping on every order over 35 bucks and they've got a lifetime guarantee. Gents, I'm linking to Anson Belt and Buckle down in the description of today's video. Go check them out. An awesome company. I'm proud to support them. I've known these guys for years. They are the real deal. Family owned business here in the United States with amazing customer service. Go check them out guys. Use that link down in the description. Next up gents, let's talk about shaving and we're not talking about shaving your face. This right here is a sweater shaver. So, if you've ever had a sweater that you pull out because you know it's been in storage all summer and it's got that pilling on it, it's got that excess fuzz, you want to get rid of that, you want that sweater to look like new, then you go over it with a sweater shaver. But I know not everyone's going to have one of these, but what you do have is a cheap 
razor, disposable razors that preferably have not been used. Guess what? You go ahead and you shave that sweater. When you go over it and just wear the sweater and you go over and you remove all that pilling, it is going to remove it and it does a great job. Just make sure that you use a fresh disposable razor. Now, as I've got the razor out here, let's talk about a couple quick shaving hacks. First up, you don't have any shaving cream, go down into your kitchen and grab a cooking oil. Olive oil, perfect. You don't want to use it again and again. It could start to irritate the skin, although some people swear by it. Point being is put that olive of oil on and go ahead and go for a shave. Now, speaking of shaving, how do you actually get rid of that razor burn? So, one of the things I see men making this mistake again and again is they have no technique. And when they shave, they go with really big long strokes like that. Don't do that. When you're shaving, you want to go over with really small strokes and you never want to hit the same area twice. And if you do, you want to put on some more shaving cream or shaving oil, whatever it may be, or use them in combination, which is actually best. Point being, never shave over an area that's already been shaved over once that doesn't have a lubricant to protect the skin. This right here is what drives your skin crazy and when you do those really big long strokes, you end up cutting yourself. You don't have nearly as much control. So again, reduce the size of the stroke and never go over an area that you've already gone over once that doesn't have protection on it anymore. Now, about once a month, I get the question, Antonio, how do you store your pocket squares? I know you've got a lot of them and that's true. I also have a lot of jackets and that's the secret to how I store them. So, in all of my jackets, I put the pocket squares in there and I just leave them in there pretty much 24 7 because it's easy for me to then go grab a jacket and say, you know what? All right, this is going to work and I've already got a pocket square in there and I try to put in pocket squares that have a wide variety of different colors. They're going to match a wide variety of different shirts, different outfits, and I make it easy on myself and everything there is ready to go. The next Clever Style hack to look good, shine your shoes right after wearing them. Seriously, keep it under a minute. Yes, I'd love to get in the 10 to 15 minute shoe shine, but here's the thing. I'm a father of four, got to be really practical and I know that if I put those shoes away without cleaning them up, I'm going to forget about them. So, I shine them really quickly. Again, I've got the polish right there. It takes about 45 seconds to a minute per shoe and then boom, I'm done. I put them into a bag, keep them covered, keep the dust off them. But the point is shine your shoes right after wearing. And if you don't have time to iron your shirt, well guys, throw on the jacket because when you throw on that jacket, you button up. Guess what? They don't see any of the unironed shirt except for the collar. So, make sure that's looking good right here, the front part of the placket and the cuffs. By the way, gents, it doesn't have to be a sports jacket. It can be any jacket. And a quick reminder that any well-fitted jacket on a man is going to make him look better. Why? Because it's going to build up the shoulders, draw attention to the hands, and overall give you a leaner profile. Now, when choosing clothing, a really quick hack to be able to find a color that's going to work for you, look at your eye color. So, for me, I've got dark brown eyes. So, I go for dark brown in my jackets and a few other pieces I've got here or there. Those of you guys with blue eyes, this is awesome because you want to mimic that color of blue. If it's a light blue, if it's a deep blue, make sure that maybe you can bring it into your pocket square, that you can bring it into your shirt. People are going to notice when they look at your eyes, the blue in the shirt is going to pull it out. I know for me, a jacket like this just gives me a little bit more of a dark, mysterious look and I've had people give me compliments on this jacket. So, find something that mimics with your eyes and use it. The next tip to instantly look more stylish, bring in a casual tie. All right, here I've got a woolen necktie. Very distinctive because of its napped, a very soft surface, but you could go with a fun bow tie. The point is, go with something casual. Go with something you don't have to wear, but you're wearing it because you want to stand out and you want to have fun. All right, gents, so what video to watch next? How about the things that you shouldn't be wearing anymore? These are out of fashion. Yeah, if you're wearing the things on this list, we've got issues. Guys, Find out. It's a fun video and yeah, I'm going to link to it right here. So, go check it out.